talking I'm talking with uh, one of the staff at uh, Central Station. As you know, uh, station staff cuts have happened all over the metropolitan area. Why do you think it's important to uh, stop the cuts uh, on the stations? Actually, we need serious. We need we need more more staff, not cut staff. New timetable coming, and uh, more trains, more customer from last year to now. More customer. We need more staff, not cut staff. They want they want us to do safety. They want us to do customer service. They want us to do wheelchair. They want us to dispatch the train, clean the train. They want us to do operation, transposition, answer the signal box. And everything you want to cut stuff from us, you need more stuff. That already more stress for us, especially when the train disruption. As you know, many times that happened. Someone ill in the train, someone fatality or something happened, or signal failure or something. More more stress. We copy everything, and they create more more management. But the government's saying all those things are already covered, uh, and and that. Uh Basically, they're spending too much money. I mean, they've got to get rid of staff. Uh, yeah, they, how do you answer that? I mean, yeah, they spend more money for the management. They spend more money for spend for nothing. Just they coming to us. They create heaps management. Every month they coming a new manager. We heard chief executive coming. We heard more more management. And for us, they coming to us only. We cut staff only. They give us pay rise four percent. The life gone gone twenty percent more. The electricity. They. Uh, Gas gone up 4%, electrification uh, gone up, everything gone up. We got 4% only. They won't cut, cut our job too. I don't know how they, how they work that. Because people, you know, we should be stuck together. We have to, the premier come to see what's going on. Not create more management. You see, got to lease three hips people project, the city, executive. And for us, we copy everything and they want to cut us. Thanks. Talking to Tony, who's uh, an employee at Central. Tony, as you know, right across the metropolitan area, the government's cutting uh, rail staff jobs. In some areas, it's uh, up to 50%. Why do you think it's important to that, that we need to protect rail workers' jobs? The government's saying that uh, you know, they're spending too much money on wages that they need to cut these jobs. But from a rail workers' point of view, why do we need to keep these jobs? Family prospects. I've got a family, uh, so does everybody else. We have to survive. We have to pay our bills. So basically, uh, keep on the frontline worker to run the organisation. We don't need uh, heaps of management. So just. Uh, so would you say that management? Uh, they've had a big increase in management in the in the last few years. Well, it's not fair because uh, your top uh, management get uh, increases, they squeeze us to pay them, so it's not fair. Give give the blue uh, blue collar worker a shot, mate, because uh, without us, they're nothing. So what would your message for the Premier, what would it be, if you had a chance to talk to him when he comes back out again, what would you tell him? I would tell him, uh, what if you were in our shoes, you got to look at... Uh, there's a lot of families that you're going to destroy. So I just hope you make the right decision because, mate, you're going to have to live with it for the rest of your life. I'm talking to Jatenda Kalwa, a City Rail employee. Um, I'd like to tell you his experiences uh, of uh, working for City Rail and what the current cuts mean to him. Yeah. Um, I'm working for Rail almost in the last nine and a half years, uh, exactly after the Olympics. and. Um, I'm a fixed salesperson at Glenfield Station. My position has been abolished, and uh, we don't know what they're going to offer us next. That's it. And so, so your job was basically abolished. I mean, on what grounds can they say you, you, you were a ticket seller? Uh, on what grounds do they do they say that they don't need you? I mean, why why why? Did they not need your job now when they needed it all these years? It's on the mainly based on the basis of uh, 126 tickets over the period of six hours. But I'm pretty close to that, but um, and then they say, no, nah, it has to be 126 over the period of six hours. Whereas the world has a very busy location, they are doing all, not doing only 700 issues over the period of eight hours, which comes to much less than 100 tickets.